In the beginning, the baby was born. God chose Mary to be the mother of God, and the word was born as a wordless child. When the baby looked up into the face of the mother Mary, he already saw there the cross. When he looked into the face of the father, Joseph, the cross was there too. The mother Mary and the father Joseph held the baby close. They gave the baby everything the baby needed to grow. And it began to grow. The baby grew and became a boy. When he was about 12 years old, he went with Mary and Joseph and with many other people to the great city of Jerusalem to keep one of the holy days. On the way home, Mary and Joseph discovered that Jesus wasn't there. They looked everywhere for him. Finally, they even looked in the temple, and there he was. He was talking to the rabbis and priests. When he spoke, they listened, because he knew so much. When they spoke, he listened, because he wanted to learn more. Jesus grew to be a man. When he was about 30 years old, he went to the River Jordan where his cousin John was baptising people. Do you see John? He was a wild man. Jesus waded into the river and said to John, baptise me. John looked at Jesus for the first time and saw who he really was. How can I baptise you? You are the Messiah, the one we've been waiting for. You must baptise me. No, it is written that you will come before me and prepare the way. Baptise me. Jesus went down into the chaos and darkness of the water. When John lifted him back up into the light, there were people who said they heard a voice saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptised, he went into the desert to learn more about who he was and what his work was going to be. There was little to eat or drink. One day he heard a voice. Why don't you turn one of these stones into bread and have something to eat? Jesus said, no, to be a real human being, we need more than bread to eat. The voice asked Jesus to do other things, but Jesus said, no, we do not need to test God. And then the voice went away. Jesus went back across the River Jordan and began to do his work. But what was his work? His work was to come close to people, especially the people no one else wanted to come close to. See, he's come close to this blind man. He is so close that he has touched the blind man's eyes. When Jesus came close to people, they were changed. They could see things they could never see before. They became well. Jesus also told parables. And finally he knew it was time to become a parable, so he turned towards Jerusalem for the last time. It was the time of the Passover, and the city was full of people from many different lands. They thought Jesus was coming to be the king, but he wasn't riding on a great white horse and he didn't have any soldiers, but the people waved palm branches anyway, which were the signs of kings. On the Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Jesus went to the temple. The people watched him and whispered. The temple guard said, on Thursday, we will take him. But on Thursday, they couldn't find him. Jesus and his friends were sharing their last supper together. After they had had everything they wanted to eat, Jesus took the bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it and said something like, Whenever you break bread like this and share it, I will be there. He also took the cup of wine, gave thanks to God for it and said, Whenever you share a cup of wine like this, I will be there. What was he talking about? How could they know? Still, they didn't forget and later, they would understand. Suddenly, Jesus, Judas got up and left. 
The others sang a hymn and went out into the garden to pray. Judas came out of the dark and greeted Jesus. This was the sign for the temple guards to take him. They came out of the shadows and took Jesus away with them into the night. That night was a confusing one. The next day, Jesus was taken outside the city walls and crucified. That afternoon, Jesus died. The sky grew dark. Jesus was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. A great stone was rolled into the opening of the cave like a closed door. Saturday was so quiet, you could almost hear the earth breathing. On Sunday, it was the women who had the courage to go to the tomb just to be close to Jesus. They wanted to remember, even if it was just sad. And when they came to the tomb, they found the stone had been rolled away and the tomb was empty. Jesus had died on the cross, but somehow he was still with them, as he's with us now, especially in the bread and the wine. When you look at this side, you know that the other side is there. And when you look at this side, you know that this side is there. You cannot pull them apart. This is the mystery of Easter, and that makes all the difference.